Hello, welcome back to the Frappy Clouds um, tutorial. Um, my name is Anthony Emmanuel. And this time around, we are going to move and continue on to the site management. Um, in the previous tutorial, we learned how to create a new site. And this time around, we are going to explore the site to see how we can make use of it. Once you log into your dashboard, you are going to see your site, the available sites you have already created. You can click on the site. And you see information about that site. Now you can log into the site to uh, complete the setup. You, um, if you at first when the site is installed, you do not have information about the passwords, the admin's password. So log into the site. You click on this button, login as administrator, or you can just click on this site and it opens the site for you on a new tab. Now this opened the site and an SSL was automatically provisioned. Um, looking at the certificates, you already see the SSL and um, let's encrypt. Okay, at the moment, I don't know the passwords on how to log into the site. What I'm gonna do is to use this option, login as administrator. And once I'm logged in, I can actually reset the password by myself from the admin uh, user account. Okay, since it is a fresh install, I'm going to be presented with this. Uh, after some times uh, or in the next, um, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to actually restore from an existing site. Okay, you're going to be told to select your language and click next, English, um, country. Okay, at the moment um, in Nigeria, so I'm going to select Nigeria. Then you move on, you'll be told to select some other information. So I'm going to select uh, add your full name you'll be the first user except the admin and guest user um, password you could select the password you want and next Now you're going to be asked to select the domain in which you operate. You know the domain you operate. So I'm going to select um, services next. And you'll be told to attach a company name. I'm going to attach a company name. Then if you have a logo, you can click here to attach the logo. And the abbreviation for the company will be automatically selected, except you want to change it. Click next. And here you're going to be asked, um, what's your, this is normal ERP next setup process. Our bank, you could select your bank. So I'm going to select an existing bank in Nigeria. Okay. I'm going to type first uh, bank. Okay, now you should know how to do this if you've made your ERP next using the chart of account and some other information. You select your financial year, beginning and end, and you click on complete setup. Once you click on this, your site gets set up just the vanilla ERP next site setup. And once this is done, you are good to go. Once your setup is complete, you'll be presented with your dashboard, just the normal ERP next dashboard or property dashboard. First thing you should do once you are logged in or after setting up a new site, when you log in from using this login administrator, since you do not know the password, is to go straight to your account and set your password. Okay, um, here is the, you know, I already know the password for this, but for the administrator, to change your administrator password, you can leave it as it is for, you kind of, you can also change, um, kind of log in with the administrator. Again, you can log in with the administrator and change the password. Now I am logged in as an administrator. You click on this and use um, my settings. It takes you to app slash user slash administrator. You can scroll down to change your passwords. Click on change password and type the password you want here. Save. Now you can log in. 
with your administrator password you have just set up. Um, try that by logging out and logging again. And that's it, you should be logged in. This already shows success. You are logged into your site. Okay, and that's just it for setting up the sites from um, logging in to the admin when you have known not the passwords and to getting your site set up and you know your password feeding. So we're gonna to explain to other section later on, like um, adding a custom application now you see some analytics is already up showing up here just more analytics 96.1 seconds already used based on the configuration we did earlier and that's just how you can you know set up your fresh site but we see how we can you know kind of migrate an existing site to frappy cloud then later on move into kind of seeing how we can work on the custom application thanks for watching please do like and subscribe